There are those who say it ain't a barbecue if there ain't no slaw. Well, I have a slaw that's colourful, tasty and dead easy to make. Welcome to the Barbecue Walk of Flame. Nice to have you with us. Well, it's still winter here in the UK, but in the garden, there are signs that spring is just around the corner. And I, for one, can't wait to get my Weber Q back on the patio and grilling again. In the meantime, I'm thinking sides and accompaniments that can be made in advance. And this one adds that colourful finishing touch to any barbecue table. So let's get into the kitchen and I'll show you how to make it. When it comes to slaw, forget the supermarket stuff. Make your own. It's easy and far more satisfying. To make this beetroot and carrot slaw, you will need these ingredients. Mayo, Dijon mustard, horseradish sauce, red onion, parsley, lemon, beetroot, carrots, sugar and raisins. I'm measuring out the sauce ingredients into a mixing bowl. So it's four tablespoons of mayo. This is full fat mayo. I do think it tastes better. A sprinkling of sugar, just to sweeten it up a bit. Next, it's the juice of half a lemon. So it's squeeze and twist. In goes the juice. One tablespoon of horseradish sauce. I like the hot one, but it's whatever suits your taste. Now, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I'm chopping about three tablespoons of flat leaf parsley. And this gadget does a great job. In goes the parsley. I've kept some back for a garnish. Now, give it all a good mixing. If you've got one of these, then the next bit's a breeze. But if you haven't, there's grating to do. I'm using the 4mm grating disc for a coarse grate. Lid on, in goes the first carrot. And now the second. Then the beetroot. And that's the grating done. I'm now changing the grating disc for the 2mm slicing disc. Pop the half of red onion into the feed tube. At the press of a button, that's finely sliced onion. Add the sliced and grated to the sauce. As you mix, it takes on this vibrant purple colour that really does look stunning. Season with a good grind of salt and pepper. Finally, add a handful of raisins. That should be enough. Mix well. Oh, go on, I'll add the rest. And that's how to make beetroot and carrot slaw. It's into the fridge for an overnight stay. The overnight stay in the fridge is important. It allows the flavours to develop and increases the moisture. Out of the fridge, pile it all onto a serving dish. Garnished with a few sprigs of parsley 
and that's ready for serving. It's colourful, tasty and dead easy to make. This is delicious beetroot and carrot slaw. If you want to know more about this slaw, all you have to do is click that button, activate and ding the bell, and leave your comments in the comments box below. And if you're liking it so far, then give us a thumbs up. Now, here's the recipe recap. And that is one very tasty beetroot and carrot slaw. It is so easy you cannot get it wrong. From these few humble ingredients, with a little time, effort and passion, comes this delicious beetroot and carrot slaw. Bursting with colour and flavour, this is a side dish happy to accompany anything cooked on a barbecue. Well, that's all for now. Join me next time on the Barbecue Walk of Flame. So from me, the dude with the food, the old geezer who ain't at the grill, it's goodbye and thanks for watching. <laughs>